have finally arrived at the part of India that everyone has told us we have to visit during our time here. If you caught our last video, you know that we have just arrived in Goa and today is our first full day exploring the area. Goa is known for its tropical vibes, secluded beaches just like this one. But before we walk you around here, let's rewind a couple of hours and show you how we got here today. Good morning, so we have been in Goa for a couple of days now, but we have done nothing but sit on the beach. So today is the day we're finally gonna go and explore the area. And by all accounts, the best way to do that is by renting a scooter. So we're gonna go and try and get our hands on one now so that we can see what else Goa has to offer. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye. All right, guys. All right, we are off just we're, like that. We're cruising now. Oh. I love and this feeling. The weather is beautiful. It's the so wind good. is amazing. Oh. My helmet is loose. I know. We're trying to tighten our helmets as much as I can, <laughs> but this is the safest thing yet. I think it's typical Goa. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, they didn't want to give us two helmets. They only wanted to give us one. They're like, oh, passenger doesn't need one, doesn't need one. I'm like, no, my dad will kill me. I need a helmet. <laughs> Just sitting behind Miko with the wind in my hair in a tropical place. And today we happen to be looking for beautiful beaches. I don't even care where we're going now. I just, I just absolutely love this. This is truly one of my absolute favorite things to do in the whole world. Yeah, I gotta say, I love being on the bike and just like being in a place where you can bike around, have some palm trees above you, look at fruit stands as they pass by, say hi to the dogs as you pass by. <laughs> It's just, uh, it doesn't really get much better than this. No. At least until we get to a beach. But the journey to the beach is still so amazing. Guys, honestly, this is like my favorite thing to do. It's also such a treat, I think, as full-time travelers to have a mode of transportation because like we're yeah. very stuck usually with just our own two feet. And then obviously like we're at the, at the whim of other people's modes of transportation. So it's really nice to have our own set of wheels every now and again. Woo, that car came close. <laughs> I'm not sure if we mentioned this yet, but we're in South Goa. So Goa is typically, it's a state here in India, and it's typically divided into North and South. North Goa is known for its party scene, very busy, very vibrant, not for us. <laughs> we wanted the laid back beach scene, lazy days, and that is what you get in South Goa. Um, so far it is definitely living up to expectation. Even as we drive around, like everything seems to be just on like laid back beach time. Um, it's been interesting to drive around today. We've seen tons of churches. And I guess that is because the Portuguese actually spent quite a lot of time here. So you can definitely see a lot of their influence around because there are a lot of Catholic looking churches. Ooh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Stunning. But what's better, but what's better than the buildings is the greenery. It is so lush mm -hmm. and so beautiful out mm -hmm. here. It's just so, uh, I could just drive around all day. So tropical. Until my butt gets sore. That's true. <laughs> Which is getting pretty close. Already? <laughs> no, oh a little no. bit. <laughs> all right, the first stop of the day is Kola Beach. We were promised it would be absolutely gorgeous and it is living up to the expectation. Look at this. We've heard so much about Goa and how it has so many beautiful beaches and some are harder to get to but that just makes it all the more like worth it. And there's not a ton of people here. There's a bit of a restaurant which I'm hoping we can have some lunch pretty soon but man you can't beat these views. This place is stunning. I don't know what I was expecting but for some reason not this. This is like it's like perfectly flat and then just whoosh, right into the water at like a pretty steep angle. Um, and like I just all I see is like rocks and greenery for as far as I can see and boats. Oh, oh that is so nice. Wow. The water is amazing. There's uh, these wave 
flames are pretty intense, but whoa, wait for it. Oh. That feels so good. You know, I understand why now that Indians love Goa so much. I mean, this is just one beach of so many beaches so along the coast of Goa. Um, they're so beautiful. I can't, I can't imagine, like, I think you could probably just spend so much time, yeah. like, going from beach to beach to beach and, like, finding the best one out of, like, a hundred or something like that. I feel like you could spend a lifetime coming here on holidays and just go to a different beach every yeah. time. And you'll have a different experience every time. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's stunning. I it's think, stunning. I think what's actually, like, just really, really impressive is just how few people there are here. Mm which is something that you really start to appreciate um, when you spend time here in India. I always, we have after spending a lot of time in Delhi and Calcutta and Mumbai, being surrounded by so many people, oh. I can see why like people like to escape to a place like Goa. Yeah, it does go really nice to have a little bit of space. <laughs> yeah. Look, no one's touching me. <laughs> Except for me. <laughs> That's true. You don't come. <laughs> oh, uh, this is awesome. Uh, Did I redo the hair? Because I got helmet hair. <laughs> One of the uh, many casualties from riding a scooter. How's my helmet hair, guys? Helmety. Not too bad. Just a little flat. <laughs> it's fine. We found a nice spot here at the restaurant that overlooks the water. And uh, it's called the Blue Lagoon. The prices are actually much, much better than I expected. For food, we are floored. It's like $5 a dish, which yeah. is a little higher than normal for sure. Yeah. Here, um, but honestly, That's considering where, how remote we are, I'm yeah. so impressed. Considering we have this view, it ain't too bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you so much. <laughs> I went real authentic and got pasta today. I haven't had pasta in so long. And I got the Goan prawns. I heard the seafood here in Goa is so, so good. And we wanted to, I wanted to get the fried fish, but they said it would take a little while. So I just went for the prawns. It looks amazing. I miss pasta. Mm. I miss seafood. <laughs> number two requires us to walk a little bit so pretty sure this is where like as far as we can take the bike is the guy here taking payment that seems like a good start <laughs> beach number two also seems to be the last beach of the day because we're a little bit late and the sun is already going down I don't know how this happened <laughs> <laughs> right. so for 50 rupees we could have parked beyond that gate over there and then walked about a kilometer half in which normally we would totally do but the sun is already setting so we're there like oh for an extra 50 rupees so 100 rupees total you can just go the whole way on the bike but like <laughs> oh uh, my feet just got wet anyways this is mayhem <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try. Be very careful, I will. Graceful. He did so good. Okay. I got all our stuff in case he fell. <laughs> oh gosh, what a day. Alright, we did it. You rock. Well, we didn't do it. Mika did it. <laughs> I carried our stuff.
worth it. <laughs> Gotta make use of that hundred rupees, and we didn't even fall. Almost, we were close to falling, but You're fine. I think You're we're great. okay. We're good. How's my hair? <laughs> I think we found the sunset spot. <laughs> Alright everybody, we have made it to the ultra super secret secluded butterfly beach. No one knows about this beach. Nobody knows ex except for everybody here. <laughs> everybody here knows about this beach. <laughs> and the 300 people we saw walking out. But aside from these people, <laughs> that is it. That is in all of India. Everybody's visited here. These are the only people that know. But I gotta say, it is a gorgeous beach. It's tiny, like it's a small little like all the like cove, like a little inlet. Yeah. The watercolor is so beautiful. I, I think that's what I really like about Goa. Every day is like you could have a new beach. Mm -hmm. It's like flavor of the day, right? Like depends right, on what yeah. you're looking for. If you're looking for like a nice little tiny cove, cozy with a whole bunch of other people, you know, this could be a good place. Mm -hmm. I heard that someone say that today's like a holiday. So maybe yeah. that's why it's a lot, it's a little busier than I was expecting. Good point. Um, so if we you come here any other day? Yeah, we didn't know that. It's a Monday, we're like, oh great, it's a Monday. Like hopefully the beaches will be pretty empty. Yeah. But apparently in at least one of the states nearby, this is a holiday Monday. So maybe that's why it's so busy. That's all right. We'll just enjoy a nice, beautiful sunset with, uh, with everybody else. Yeah, and the sun looks like we can actually only see it from one side of the beach, like see it setting. Yeah. So let's try and find a spot. It looks kind of busy. actually swim in this water so that would be cool we're not going to because it's like 5 30 in the afternoon <laughs> you get to their own footwear today or flip-flops it was a gamble on the bike and now we have rocks we're gonna see if we can get a better view of the sunset up at those rocks over there Nicole and I found a very beautiful spot to watch the sunset from but I think we can get, find a better one just a little bit higher up this hill. why Indians love visiting Goa because it is such a beautiful place and I don't think there's any shortage of spots to like find for yourself even though you can might find a crowded beach here and there I think there's lots of spots to tuck away to. Oh, but let's be honest crowded by India standards is not what we saw here mm. on this beach I think by India standards there's lots of room here. yeah I think I think that's true <laughs> compared to the cities that we've been in there is tons of space <laughs> We're gonna enjoy the rest of sunset and just soak in as much of Goa as we can before we head further south into India on our next destination. Yeah, we will see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Whoa! You guys see that? Did you guys see that? <laughs> that tree branch fell out of nowhere! That's a big branch! Alright, let's go.